This is my shop with its old lights. As you can see, it's adequate, but it's not super bright. This is, uh, of course, with the fluorescence working almost properly. Anyway, we're going to change this over to some LEDs and see how it goes. This is changing out the far fluorescent bulb with an LED bulb. I'd say it's a pretty good improvement, but when it's really cold out here, the fluorescent light still flickers. So uh, I'm going to have to do away with that and switch it out with some LEDs. Okay, so the bulbs have arrived. And uh, let's get an up-close view of one of these. You can see it's just about a billion little LEDs down, down the length. And on one end you have, it says AC. On the other end it's blank. So these appear to be just a single-ended kind of uh, setup. Made by, what is that, Hyper Icon? Anyway, I got the four bulbs. They came with four of these. They call them tombstones. I'm guessing we may have to replace the ones that are in the fixture. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the fixture down and start this project. Okay, according to the package, we have to remove the ballast, or at the very least bypass it. So to do that, we need to take the old bulbs out first. On this particular fixture, we have a screw on the bottom here that will need to be removed. Okay, so what's inside this fluorescent light? Well, not a whole lot. You've got the ballast, and it's got a couple wires leading down here to these two tombstones, and then you've got several more wires leading to the power and to these two tombstones. But, since it already came with new tombstone things, I am going to just completely gut everything out of here. Well, except for those two. I'm just going to cut their wires. So I'm going to eliminate these two, eliminate all the wire mess and everything. Okay, so let's begin. I noticed that this just has one nut holding it on. So I'm just going to remove that. There it goes. Okay, so we no longer need this stamped nut. We don't need this thing anymore. So let's just set that over here. And now the ballast is free. And uh, let's see here, we've already got these tombstones free. So what's left here? Well, somebody did an electrical tape job on this, so I'm going to undo this electrical tape, and I'm going to actually put a wire nut on for when I attach these guys. Uh, the only other thing is I've got to get a uh, clipper for the uh, snipping of the wires. Okay, I have removed the electrical tape, and now it's time to untwist these wires. Oh, that one's kind of pointy. That's a solid wire there. Okay. Wasn't expecting a solid wire. There we go. And now we can remove the entire ballast and all of its wiring. We are not going to need any of this. And it just adds weight to the thing anyway. So, there that goes. Now, let's see. Where in the world did the ground connect? I don't actually think it was ever connected. Yeah, I don't see any screw marks on it or anything. Maybe I'll have to fix that. Maybe I will use this after all. Okay, so the, uh, the cheap little screw that came with it is a little too big for this hole, so I'm just going to make this hole a bit bigger. Well, there's my hole. I shined it up a little bit. Now let's just... Uh, Hmm, you know, I wonder if this would work better from the top. I betcha it would not. Okay, so we'll put the nut on top. If this doesn't work, well, we can always just get a normal screw. Okay, let's see here. We have to put on some uh, new tombstones, apparently. Well, as I expected, there was no mention of which one goes where because it is alternating current, so it shouldn't really matter. So I'm just going to stick with attaching all the blacks to black, and then we'll stick the white to the reds. Let's attach some wire nuts. I may need to trim some things first, though. Okay, so here's some pliers. Let's go ahead and torque that on there as tight as we can make it. So I definitely don't like the thought of wire nuts coming loose. Let's pull on it real good. Okay, that's not going anywhere. 
Let's do the same with the white. And then pull on it real good. Okay, it's not going anywhere. Excellent. There we go. Now we just have to put the, uh, I guess that would be called the bottom. Put the bottom back in. Let's see, we got two screws, one for each end. And let's see, we just gotta attach this one down in there. Boy, these things feel so cheap. Anyway, let's move to the other end and get the other side. Now we gotta be very careful. AC goes on AC side. And we want this to face downward. Here we go again, AC side over here. Gotta pull off these old plastic plugs. And let's go ahead and get this side in. Okay, and here is the turn on of the LED lights. I must say, I am pretty pleased with the amount of light coming out of that. So I think what I'm going to do is replace that little single bulb down there with another one of these eventually. But uh, the other two bulbs that are still sitting on the table, those are destined for the garage. Because the garage still has a regular fluorescent. And what's going to be nice is, when it's really cold out here, these aren't going to flicker. And here is the before picture of the garage portion. And here it is with the LEDs installed. I think it's a pinch brighter. Might not show up so much on the camera. But anyway, this second light fixture only took me about 8 minutes to convert. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful.